There we go then. So learned a new word. Yeah, yeah, yeah a new word. Yeah, you it's in the dictionary, is it? It is in the dictionary. It's a schmickle, a little bit more than a schmidge. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, like we were saying, yeah, Mini X30 now about to take to the track for their first heat of the day. Uh, handed some grids there. Grids yeah, there. Yeah, you, could, you could hold them there. Oh, okay. well, glamorous. Do you, do you no, 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 it's fine. You don't I'm have to go and get your food for you. Yeah, 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 my glamorous assistant. <laughs> 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 there we go. There's the 87 on your screen there. Thomas Behrman, KR Sport. Uh, great running from him. And there's, a, there's a fight between the mechanic and the driver in the background there. Mm. Go through there. <laughs> We always see good stuff from Pratt Thompson there, don't we? He always he likes to do that before a warm up. We've seen mm -hmm. it. He posted videos that fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Uh, it involves having a fight with his mechanic in the cart just before they leave. Well, they're not fighting. Mm -hmm. He's testing his reactions. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. That's what he's doing. Everyone has their own own, own routines, don't they? Yeah. Own, own prep prep routines. Mine was always last lap board, put put crash helmet on as the leader comes across to take the last lap. Okay. Then, then so that was it. Yeah. And then yeah, quick fist bump in. Jump in once the once everyone's across the line in the race before. That, that was it. it. That yeah. was always it. Good oh, story, cool right. story, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was hoping <laughs> you weren't going on the the subject of I uh, put my helmet on when the last lap board came out. Well, surely your helmet should be on if you're on track. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, your yeah. helmet's only going on and you're receiving that last lap board. Yeah, I know. I got disqualified several <laughs> times. Yeah, there's Mary uh, Pilo there. Uh, the number eighteen. Going strong here at the moment. Tommy Harfield again having some words of encouragement. Going. I'm not sure what that says on your screen, but there we go. Work it out. Figure it out. You'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> that's the words that were coming out of there. 51. Fred Green. And, uh, you know, his dad, very well known in the motorsport world. Let's have a look then at the grids for Mini X30, race seven of the weekend so far. Seven races in already. Heat number one, here's how they line up. Macaulay Bishop and Heidi Mamassi on row number one with Leo Robinson and Thomas Cucarillo Yeomans on row number two. Eden Spanswick and Taylor Orridge on row three with Jack Hobson and Wesley Swain on row number four. Fred Green and Thomas Behrman on row five with Tommy Harfield and Cameron Pratt Thompson on row number six. Jack Cunningham and Finn Leslie on row six seven with Joey Brown and Lewis Bird on row 10. Freddie Lloyd and Charlie Morris Jones on row nine with Jack Mowat and Isaac Phelps rounding out the top 20 on row number 10. Marley Pedro on row number 11 with Connor Grant alongside then it's Mason Rudman and Brandon Truman on row 12. Miles Turnbull and Harry Redding on row 13 with Harrison Crowther on row 14. All on his low seat. Could be one to watch from back there. Had Could problems in, in qualifying, believe me. So, uh, at the moment, it's still going to be, they're all going to be on slicks. It is still dry. I think the rain has now stopped. Uh, so, but it, it could, it's conditions at the moment, it could just, it could just rain at any time, couldn't it? I it mean, could. hey, that's always possible, really. But uh, this is my signal def for rain. definitely, it's uh, it's signal touch and go out there. Eight minutes plus a lap, as ever. Macaulay Bishop and Hadi Mamassi will be your front row. There we go. So as they go through out of the final corner, something tells me it's not going to be a green start because they looked a little bit separated there. Full so uh, there yes. we go. I had to rush through that grid to make sure I got them to the line. And what did they do? <laughs> they uh, oh, they just. Yeah, they just, they just didn't want to start the race. Well, 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 well that's it. let's go through a little bit of the timetable. So, Iami Cadet will be after this, then we will take a break. We'll be back uh, at uh, 45 minutes past two for Junior Rotax. Uh, and then we will have another 12 races in total. Uh, Junior Rotax will be straight after the break, and we'll go into Senior Rotax after that. We will conclude at 45 minutes past five with Senior X30 there. Third and final heat. All the drivers are doing two heats. This is their first one that we're seeing on screen. Now, if you're just joining us, there's been some pretty good racing, hasn't there? We started in wet conditions. We're now dry. But overall, there hasn't been one race that's been dull. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. No, uh, you're very correct in saying that. It's been, yeah, it's been absolutely great. And I suspect this one will be just as great. So let's sit. Oh, 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 oh. At the track, <laughs> it's very close there. I wouldn't want to be that marshal. There we go, out of the final corner. Is it going to be green flag this time around? No, no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Macaulay Bishop not happy with uh, Hardy Massey there. Not sure what. Uh, They'll that? go around once more. They will indeed go round once more. 
So uh, we'll try again. So you, you've done you've done the uh, this schedule for today. That was your first uh, filling. Point. Yes. What's your next filling point? My next filling point. Yeah. Oh well, I was going to talk about the PF Challenge Cup, which was right. won by our pole sitter Macaulay Bishop. He's decided to keep his. Uh, number uh, of 68 for this one, but uh, he could have run the PF plates uh, if he wanted to. He won that in the rain by over seven seconds. So uh, he's de he's in form, essentially, coming into this one. We do race every month here at PF. Uh, we don't run a championship. We kind of run one-off events these days, the PF Challenge Cup. Uh, we do run a winter series, but uh, we had the PF Challenge Cup last time. Uh, that was won by our pole sitter, Macaulay Bishop. That's a bit of a dress rehearsal to this race. So you'd say he's looking in good form. I don't know how he's doing British Championship-wise, which he's been following. Second. He's second in that. So he's got to be one of the favourites, right? But uh, with Carl Masters, it's always open, and he's got the uh, reigning vice British champion directly behind him in the two there. Let's see if we get going third time, luck. Let's see if we can into the tram lines. Is it green flag? No. 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 There we go. So we thought third time's a charm. Uh, they have broken that charm. How dare they? How now, I, I don't know. I don't know if they'll stop them here and uh, have and a chat. Yes. Yeah, so red now, flag has come out. Sometimes in these situations, the guys on the front row get sent to the back. Ooh. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but um, that does sometimes happen. But uh, Nigel Edwards will go oh, and have yeah, a I, word. I say Nigel Edwards, the man, the myth, the legend, with the clipboard, there he is. is standing in the middle of the circuit, out of hairpin number two, and I suspect we'll have a very yeah, stern well, word. We'll, we'll have a chat to them. Let's talk about Leo Robinson. Yeah. Um, you know, one driver. Uh, definitely to, to keep an eye on oh, in this yeah. class. Yeah. To, w from what you've seen of him so far this season, uh, what have your thoughts been? Well, uh, put it this way, in oh, every final... Slow up, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's going to be some... Oh, there we go. Uh, some people didn't realise we were slowing down. Uh, uh, eventually, the message got through. But, um, yeah, the, the two drivers are going to have a bit of a talking to here. I don't know. They might be sent to the back. That oh, might be that, the case. That to me if that happens, Leo Robinson and uh, Thomas Yamans will be our front row. I'm not sure what's going on there. I think there might have been some uh, some contacts uh, between a few of the drivers as they came uh, up to the line, but uh, I think the front two are going to go to the back here. Yeah, I think you could be right. Yeah, that you can see the disappointment there. You on get Hardy three Massey. chances. Yeah, three chances, and you're out, unfortunately. So Leo Robinson, who we were just about to talk about, is going to start on uh, uh, pole position now. Mm, he is indeed. So, like we were saying, yeah, Leo Robinson, like you say, he's he's had a great season so far in the British Cup Championships paddock for Mini X30. You know, he's had pretty much a race win all the way throughout the season. Lark Hall, he struggled a little bit. He had uh, Macaulay Bishop took the wins at, at Lark Hall. Um, but, of course, um, Robinson wasn't faced by that because he just said, oh, she's at my drop round. <laughs> win the rest of the races. So, uh, it's very true. Now, light rain is starting to fall out on track. Uh, yes, Dan Ashton telling me, yes, it is. Um, so, Jacob ja it, it, it just doesn't have a jacket or an umbrella, and uh, that's going to be a problem. And the rain is actually getting pretty heavy now. Um, but uh, J Jacob just doesn't, just doesn't care. Just, you know, he'll just stand in the rain all day and... Doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't phase him at all. But this is going to be a problem, isn't it? We, we're, yeah. on, we're on slick tires out we there, are. and the, the rain is getting heavier now. So uh, this could take a, a couple of minutes. Uh, McCauley Bishop not very happy, but uh, that is the rules. Three three full starts, and you go to the back uh, of the grid. Robinson will now start this one from pole position with Thomas Yamans alongside him. Yes, he will indeed. So that really shakes it up slightly. That's getting heavy is now, it isn't it? Is, yeah, that rain is coming down. So I suspect maybe that these carts could come into the pit lane to do a tyre swap. Who knows? I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, we'll find we'll out. We'll have to find out. We'll, we'll find out. Um, it, it, is if, if the rain continues at this intensity, it's going to be a race of survival, isn't it? It's mm. just going to be stay on the track, and you'll, if you're not at the front, you'll gain a lot of positions. Right, so this will become clear. There goes Leo Robinson to uh, head us round. Thomas Yamans will now be alongside. Road 2 will be Spanswick and Orange. Then it will be Hobson and Swain. Green and Behrman, your top 10, will be rounded out by Harfield uh, and Thompson. And right at the back will be Macaulay Bishop. Uh, and Hadi Mamassi. Cold tyres. They're only going to have half a lap to warm up if that, and there's rain falling. This is going to be an interesting first corner. <laughs> Keep an eye on turn one, folks, at home. Strap yourselves in. 
if you've got a seatbelt attached to your sofa, I recommend to put it on right now. Out of the final corner, into the tram lines, Nigel Edwards, get out the way, green flaggers go, and we're here in towards turn one. Dan Patch is forming, and look at that, in towards turn one, spinners central. Absolute chaos. Someone's actually on the banking and has managed to come back round again. So uh, uh, we've lost a lot of drivers off on that first one. Everyone seems to have got going again, but they really are struggling coming uh, over. It looks like Thomas Yarmans has uh, taken the lead, but only briefly. That's going to be Leo Robinson back through coming into the first hairpin. Are we all going to make it into the first hairpin safely? Just about at the front of the field. No, one person we have spinning round. We'll pick up who we're losing as we go on. It looks like Wesley Swain uh, has hit problems. Brown, Bird, uh, Freddie Lloyd hit problems as well uh, on that opening nap. But no such problems for Leo Robinson, who leads the way. Yeah, so out on track drama, actually, because it looks like the 44 of Mamassi didn't start the race. He has pulled that car off to the side of the track and did not go to the back of that grid. So Mamassi is out of this race before it even started. That's the number six of Jack Hobson making up a position coming in towards the final corner. The MLC motorsport driver will keep an eye out for Macaulay Bishop because he did start. Let's uh, find out where he is as they come across the line. And he is 10th place. So wow, from last to 10th on the first lap. That's not bad going at all. That is not bad going at all. That indeed, as he goes through then, really fighting through that field. But at the front, it's Leo Robinson who's leading away across the bridge from Jack Hobson. Again, two very quick drivers change for second place, though, because it looks like Orridge dived down the inside there, and he has got the move done. The Mad Croc Promotions driver promotes himself now to second place. There's Macaulay Bishop in the 68 on picture now, makes another move. So that's him into seventh place. Macaulay Bishop is not out of contention overall here, is he? He may have been sent to the back, but he's gone from 26th all the way up to 7th in one and a half laps. I suspect with all that carnage that happened at Turn 1, massively helped out. So now in this phase, he's got to really concentrate now to get those moves done. Macaulay's a quick driver. He knows he's got the pace. Um, you know, he can get through that field, but... Has he got enough time to do it? Five and a half minutes to go across the line. Robinson from Orridge, Hobson, Spanswick, Morrison, Jones, and it's Swain, Bishop, Leslie, Cookerilla, Yeomans, and it's Pratt Thompson in the top ten. Behrman, Cunningham, then it is Crowther, Felt, Turnbull, Truman, Mowat, Lloyd, Green, Rudman, Bird, Grant, uh, Pedro, and then it's Harfield, Redding, or Brown, then Redding. We just saw Macaulay Bishop make another move there going through turn one, and we're seeing another move being made uh, here in the background, that's the number 86 uh, of Thomas Yarman's making a remake, retaking a place going in towards the first hairpin. So that puts Bishop up into sixth place. There he is now, just behind the number 12 of uh, Charlie Morrison Jones as they come through the first corner. We've got someone off, I think that's Tommy Harfield uh, who hasn't come through the first sector of the circuit. So uh, uh, problems earlier in qualifying, more problems here. Here we can see the number six of Hobson, but uh, there is Macaulay Bishop now up into fifth place as he comes across the line. Right, four and a half minutes plus a lap to go. Gap to the next car, one and a half seconds. And last time round, he was half a second quicker than the top four. There we go. There, a lunge down the inside as well there. That looked like it was Wesley Swain getting past Charlie Morrison Jones. Gets that job done. Macaulay Bishop, fastest lap of the race, 102.808. Ch change of lead, perhaps? Yes, we've got a change of lead into the first hairpin, and uh, that is Taylor Orridge going past Leo Robinson. And I have to say, that's exactly what Macaulay Bishop wants <laughs> to see. He wants to see them battling at the front, because that means they're going to be slower than him. That means he can close that gap, though. Change of third as well. Spanswick, at the exact same time, went past Hobson. So two changes at that first hairpin. So your new order is uh, Orridge. Robinson, then Spanswick, and then Hobson. Bishop closing in. So go through three and a half minutes plus that one additional lap then as they come out of the final corner. The timing tower will update and we will get our order confirmed once more. Robinson from. Oh no, it's not Robinson, is it? It's uh, Orange. Got put to the back. Now he's back from 24th to 5th in the space of uh, just over. Uh, just six laps as we see a change for lead here. Robinson's going to make his move on Taylor Orridge and another change of lead. So Robinson back to the front as we see Spanswick go down the inside to try and take second. 
And as this is all happening, DJ, like you said earlier, Macaulay Bishop is closing in. That is now five for the lead as they come over the bridge. It is indeed. Again, to anyone at home, apologies for if uh, we are having internet issues here, but it's all kicking off now because down the inside goes Macaulay Bishop, gets past his teammate. Oh, uh, Eden Spanswick gets that job done. Eden Spanswick moving down one position. Hobson up next, the number six plate, but Hobson is a very quick driver. A uh, very talented driver out there, so you've got to really watch out. It's getting harder each time he moves up, and with that time running out, running out, there's not much left time to do it. No, two laps to go, so uh, Bishop's going to want to get by Hobson next time round. Then he's going to have about a lap and a half to try and make two more. Uh, you've got to remember, Orridge is going to be trying to fight back on Robinson as well as they come out of the final corner now and down the start, finish straight. Leo Robinson leading the way, but for how much longer? Because Orridge is pushing with him, but the man to watch is the driver in fourth. There he goes, down the inside of Hobson, unable to get through. We're side by side for the lead. Orridge is making his move on Robinson. Round the outside there is Hobson as he tries to hold off. Uh, Macaulay Bishop and then behind that is Spanswick and also closing in uh, next along is Wesley Swain. It is indeed. Now you saw there Hobson say, come on Bishop, work with me, close the gap and then instantly went defensive because he knew Bishop wasn't going to do that. So Bishop down the inside now is up into P3 and is closing that gap up now. Robinson leading the way. Last lap board will come out this time around. All Bishop's wanting to do is see Orridge go for that move. Orridge looks over the shoulder there, can't see that gap closing up just as of yet, but as they go through now, oh goodness me, it's getting very close with the last lap board coming out by the end of this lap. Yeah, Robinson's going to have a task on his hand. Orridge is going to have an even bigger task on his hands as we go up towards the line now to take the last lap board and straight away going defensive there is Leo Robinson. Are we going to see an attempt here from Orridge? He's going to take a wide line to try and get the cut back. Bishop sat there in third place as well. Who's going to emerge in the lead as we come over the Litchfield Bridge? Fourth up to the win in nine laps. Brilliant stuff from Macaulay Bishop. Well, if you have a result like that in your first heat, you would have thought you were going to be winning that GP play by the end of this weekend. From last to first, my goodness me. <laughs> what a running from Bishop. Well, well. what a... Uh... Oh, what a one that must have been to watch if yeah. you're a Macaulay Bishop fan, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, exactly uh, it was, that. It was disaster, and uh, now he's pulled off some sort of a miracle from going from all the way to last place, from all the way to the back, all the way to first place. And you can see him smiling through the visor. Okay. Here's your result. There is your result then. Macaulay Bishop, well, yeah, out of nowhere, gets uh, the race win from Leo Robinson. Taylor Orridge taking third place with Jack Hobson, Spanswick Swain as well there alongside and uh, the timing screens have just updated and uh, the rest of the field there Jack Cunningham Brandon Truman uh, as well finishing 14th 15th place as well well my goodness me mini x30 what a first heat that was and like we say we've still not been disappointed from all these first heats being the most fantastic races we've seen